Alright, hi everyone, Mrs. Video here and I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the really important lab safety rules that you guys must make sure that you're following during every single lab activity you do here um, at the high school. Um, now every single classroom is different but they're all equipped with the exact same safety devices. So the first rule for lab safety is making sure that you know exactly where all of those safety devices are located. So it's up to you to make sure that you take a look at your classroom to see if you can find them. So in the room where I'm currently standing, um, all of the safety devices are nicely located in one general area. So we have our safety shower. Um, you would use this if you happen to spill a whole bunch of chemicals on you, which I don't expect ever happening. Uh, we've never had to really use this in the classroom, but in the event that you do need to wash yourself off, you're just gonna come over and you're gonna pull down on this lever and the water's just gonna come gushing out on, on top of you. Um, also right next to our shower is the um, emergency eye wash station um, right here. If you ever get any sort of chemicals in your eye, either liquids or solids, um, you would just come down, pull down on this little ladder here, and the water would immediately come out. Now, you don't really want to use these things, so it's really important that we're practicing safety in the classroom, because if you happen to get something in your eyes, you have to hold your eye wide open in that water for about 10 minutes, and that's probably not a very pleasant experience. So, really important that you're following safety rules so you don't have to have that happen to you. Um, fire blanket and fire extinguisher also located over in this corner. Um, fire blanket we would use uh, if someone happened to catch on fire. You would probably want to wrap them up in that blanket to smother that fire out. You know, also do that stop, drop, and roll that you're taught in elementary school. Uh, we never use a fire extinguisher on a person because the chemicals can be harmful for your skin um, to breathe in. So if someone's on fire, don't use a fire extinguisher. Use the fire blanket. Fire extinguishers used for setting out, taking out, putting out fires that are like on the lab table or um, on other equipment. Okay. Um, also, we have our safety glasses that are stored over here. We're probably going to be wearing these with every lab activity that we do. Um, you don't want to wear them like I'm wearing them on my head because you want to make sure they protect your eyes uh, to avoid having to use that eye wash station. Another thing that you want to make sure you know when you're in a lab is where are the emergency exits. Every science lab in the school actually has two doors. The door that you can't use to come into the building, that's actually our emergency exit. The other door over here, this is enters into the prep rooms and students are not allowed into the prep rooms without teacher permission. So do not go into that room as your emergency exit because it's not gonna lead you outside of the building. So make sure you're using the door that you came in. All right guys, another important rule for lab safety is to make sure that you're dressed appropriately for the lab. Uh, so that means you probably don't wanna wear your nicest clothes when you're entering in, or when you know that you're going to be doing a lab activity for that day. We always will have aprons handy. Um, we might not need them because we might not be using materials that might stain or dye your clothes, but still if you wanna protect your clothing, if you wanna make sure it stays looking nice, always feel free to grab an apron to protect yourself. Um, anytime we're working with liquids or solids, we will be wearing our safety glasses like this, okay? You wanna make sure they're covering your eyes to prevent getting any chemicals inside of them. You also wanna make sure that if you have long hair, your hair is tied back. You don't want it dipping into any sort of liquid or if we're using a Bunsen burner, you don't want it to catch on fire. Same thing with jewelry. You don't wanna wear anything really long and dangly because that might knock things over. Um, and also, you typically wanna be wearing closed-toed shoes when you're in the lab. Not like I'm wearing today, but just in the event that you happen to drop something on the floor, um, you don't cut your toes if you break glass or you don't spill any sort of chemicals on your toes. So typically you wanna make sure that you have closed toed shoes on to prevent any sort of accidents. And that's how we would dress for the lab. Okay, so the next rule in lab safety is to make sure that your teacher is always present whenever you're doing a lab activity. Um, that's just for general safety. We wanna make sure that you're following the procedure the correct way and that you're behaving appropriately in the lab and that you're just going about doing the lab activity in a, the best safe manner you possibly can be. So if you have to make up a lab after school, wait until the teacher comes to, so that they can uh, show you what you need to do and do it correctly. Um, another thing that you want to do anytime you're in, a, in the lab, if you happen to drop something, break some glassware, spill some chemicals, immediately report that to your teacher. We're, you're not going to get in trouble. Gla accidents happen all the time. Glassware breaks, chemicals spill. Um, just report that to your teacher right away because there's certain ways that we have to clean things up. Some chemicals can't go down the drain, can't go in the garbage, so we have to clean those things up in a proper manner. 
Also glassware, if it happens to be broken, you can't just throw that into the garbage can. We have uh, certain receptacles that we put glassware in and that's just to keep our janitors safe when they're cleaning out the garbage at the end of the day. They don't know that there's broken glass in the regular garbage can and they can get cut pretty badly from that. So always make sure you dispose of broken glassware and uh, correct location. Um, also with accidents, sometimes you might get cut and you might get some chemicals on your hand that cause some burns. If anything minor like that happens, you have to report it to your teacher immediately so that we can take care of you and get you fixed up right away. Uh, another really important rule for the lab, we do not allow any sort of eating or drinking at any of the lab tables. So while you are allowed water at your desks, it has to remain at the desk. We don't want to, br to bring anything back to any of the lab tables where you're going to be working with chemicals. If you happen to get any chemicals on your water bottle or on your hands and you eat, um, you might end up getting pretty sick. So save the food for the cafeteria and the leave your water bottles at your desk. Um, a couple more rules I just want to go through real quickly. Um, no horseplay. It seems like common sense, but I know sometimes our lab activities are pretty exciting and you might, um, you know, just be goofing off with some of your friends. But that's how accidents happen through that horseplay. So please be very careful. When you're in the lab area, we're not going to be throwing things around. Um, be spatially aware of your body. You know, don't knock things over with your elbows. It's really easy to do stuff uh, to make a to drop things, break things, and make some accidents. So please be careful when you're working in the lab. Another important rule, no side experiments. You'll always be given a procedure to follow and you have to stick to that procedure. There might even be some times when you get to make up the procedure, but I have to approve it first before you're allowed to do it. So always make sure you're sticking to the plan and that you're not going um, off script at all, okay? That's how mistakes happen, how accidents occur. So we don't want that to happen. And then the last rule is make sure you know how to use the equipment you're working with. Make sure you're using the appropriate equipment that you're supposed to be working with. And if you're not sure how to use it, just ask your teacher for help. We're here to help you guys out uh, and we want to make sure you're doing things correctly and the right way and in a safe way. So please don't be afraid to ask for help. And those are all the rules that you need to follow to stay safe in the lab.